Hey guys. Our things. Bloomcools is a closet red name. He's ashamed of what people would think when he would come out. But uh, hides his uh, his behavior uh, behind the green uh, color. I have not seen a more example of a uh, closed red name than Bloom Cools and uh, English Cake. Bloom Cools just get it over with. Go to Twitch rename in settings and put me uh, blow me cools and uh, turn in his name into red. Get it done. Yeah, there, bro. So let's try to finish this campaign today. We do have a quest battle and we have we have the uh, Nurgle realm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do the quest battle, see what this is. So it looks like Kairos is fighting Kairos. How does that work? I don't know, no idea, but let's go. This is a, a rank 10 battle. Yeah, this guy has two Chaos Knights, two Exalt Flamers, and a Lord of Change. Hmm. We are fighting Kairos Fate Weaver from the past to get stuff of tomorrow. But your worst enemy is uh, yourself. True for so many people. in the future of fighting itself. Seems to be some shooters here. Man, his missiles are shit compared to ours. Yes. 
What is going on? We're getting attacked from uh, two sides. Hey Tiny, how's the weather? Uh, it's uh, it's warm with the uh, with winds blowing. Been uh, pretty cool today to uh, uh, walk around. I'm considering to investigate the mountain trail tomorrow. It's a long walk to the mountain, and I might uh, visit the mountain later this week or later next week. There's a there's a castle in the uh, on the mountain or a fortress. See it sometimes from the distance. It'll be quite a walk to get it there. Tiny says I'll let you investigate my mountain trail if you know what I mean. Uh, I know what you mean. Hey, Bress. That. What? Despite knowing every spell ever uttered, the Mocking Watcher was laid low this day by a superior adversary, which must drive him even more insane. So if we defeated ourselves. And we get more capacity and spell resistance. It's actually a very good trait. God damn. We got the stuff of tomorrow. The uh, these abilities are very lacking, but the ability uh, could be useful. But honestly, it feels like a weaker channeling stuff. But it's a, a weapon, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have to go, uh, Nurgle. Enter the land of the Plague Lord. It's a very poor weapon, if you ask me. The land of the plague lord. Should be uh, attacking damage on it as well. 
Be cautious where you step in this. It looks like a really bad uh, arcane item. Nurgle's realm is a garden of bloated flora and fauna, desperate to spread their infected spores. And at its center lies the mansion of the Plague Lord, the great sagging edifice where Nurgle himself works to concoct his greatest boxes. Guarding Legend Lords having a is the guard hero recruitment that the only affects it locally, that's just uh, sort like 2013. Him to claim his soul. Gotta be some of the worst heroes of any faction. I have scryed all of time. So basically, uh, since Zinch doesn't update his minions in his realm, you wanna do Zinch last, because the armies will be the weakest. You wanna do Slanesh first or second, because Slanesh has the nastiest armies. And it's random, you might get avoided. And you wanna do Zinch last, because uh, he has the weakest uh, minions in his realm. I wonder why they did the weakest minions uh, for Zinch in his realm. Maybe because uh, they expect you to get lost. We want to close all the rifts so we don't have to deal with the Shadow Legion. So far, uh, comes for them. of all the factions I played in all three Warhammers, I think Zinch has worse characters. Outside the Legend Lord. Yeah, by far the worst. They're not fun at all, and there's nothing really special about them. Bunkles, uh, they're uh, powerful spellcasters and they're fighters. They get uh, bounce spells. You literally get extra over 200 wins of magic because of it. Some uh, powerful voodoo. Even uh, with uh, possible bug that doesn't give you extra basic spells. On other spells being uh, bound with an extra uh, use uh, makes them the best unit in the army next to the soul grinder. They're probably the best uh, Zinch unit because of that. Soul Grinder is uh, a little bit more versatile because to shoot as well. Depends who you fight. But uh, yeah, the Lord of Change seems like the best unit for Zinch. At least uh, uh, one fetch has a very good degree of demons.
what do we have here? Oh, hold faction. I wonder who we gonna hold, huh? I wanna transfer this settlement just to fuck with them. The costs are so unrealistic. First glance, the changing waste looks fun, but it's a uh, very restrictive, uh, limited, and situational. And half of it's useless. Like the rest of the character assembly. How are we still taking attrition, like... Attrition minus 50% cash is out from all attrition. could march here as well, but seems to be like no pressure. Say one turn if we are marching, but we might take possibly more damage, especially on a bad battlefield. 
Oh, look at this. We can't revert it now. I guess we're marching anyways. Inscrutable uh, demagoguery. Ogre. Ancient knowledge, arcane deceptions, and the exquisite gift of insanity to his most faithful Zinch bestows ruinous blessings. Zinch's fire is a kaleidoscope of blazing color, hypnotic. His majesty, before those engulfed by it reduced to ashes, they will witness the truth. It's the last thing we again I guess this need for the lords. Was required. Why did you need to pin something who even follows more than 10 channels? Where uh, the thing is, if you follow more than like 5 6 channels, and uh, 7 of them are girls, they're always gonna be on the top. Because the girls are on the top always. So this way you can pin, pin the non girls on top and put you near know, the girls just gonna blow it. I just think these units have taken damage, you know? In a real fight, these units have taken no damage. Could you do a... Uh, Arthur's intro roster to make more interesting characters are just so boring and uninteresting to me. A Kairos seems to be like his, go his own thing going, but the other cars are so uninteresting and just poor. The the lords and the heroes so poor. I have like zero interest if, uh, in this faction because of it. They're probably the worst characters I've seen of any faction. We need something fun and powerful about their characters, and there is nothing like that. Nothing. Look upon me. Imagine being a demon of chaos faction, there's nothing powerful about your characters. Like what? We fight for sin. I still think the the chaos character should have some scaling uh, scaling uh, uh, attributes depending on how they progress in the campaign and not just uh, touch to the levels with the boring plus one here plus ten percent there. So what I'm saying, the Zinch's characters on the base are fucking horrible and boring. Oh, 
Sorras wins. Like this guy costs 350 and a lot of change costs 374. Why the fuck even put this guy in the army? Other than to promote variety. It's a horrible character. You want a cultist because of uh, increased mobility, but this guy is useless. This is, this is a horrible hero. Nothing special about it. And the cultists, uh, they only have one good thing about them, and also nothing special. Well, uh, Kairos uh, buffs himself with that ability for some reason. So, uh, you only the cultists to activate it. This hurts my is there a worse hero in the game than a decent horror? Let's discuss this for a second, guys. What do you guys think? Who is worse than a decent horror? This is a, like a bottom crap hero. Name a hero that's worse than a decent horror. Out of all the uh, uh, pseudo heralds, I feel like this one is the worst. Emperor Captain, good that you actually mentioned that. Emperor Captain uh, will be actually able to fly and duel. This guy can do that. His magic is not even that relevant. He's not even relevant for the Arkham Conduit. Orc Shaman. Orc Shaman actually has a... Uh, is one of the best things about the Greenskins. This guy is not. There's nothing good about this uh, this character. What, can, what does this guy provide that you can get from the Lord of Change? Norsken Shaman? Norsken Shamans provide uh, magic to their lords, which they have, don't have access to. Heck, even Emperor Captain is better than this guy. Flying uh, and, a, and a fighter, it's that's uh, special for the Empire. This guy is nothing special. He gets focused as well. Training is garbage. His magic is irrelevant. You might think you, you might use Sitting Doom and Final Transmutation to activate sometimes the metal shifting, but you can also use this magic with uh, your Lord or the Cultist. Mongol hero, Mongol hero is, uh, is pretty good. Night Gobo Shaman. Okay, he provides scouting. Okay, he's all scouting and two useful abilities. Still better than this guy. Goblin Big Boss uh, has debuffs, uh, is on the ground, can harass things. It's close, but I, I, I think this guy is still worse. Doesn't get much worse than the Goblin Heroes, right? It does have a slightly better uh, army ability, which makes it better. Witch Hunter... Mm, yeah, Witch Hunter is off. But I wouldn't say it's worse than this guy. Skin Chief. I'm insane.
King Chief provides a replenishment to the army, has skills that buff his dinosaurs and equip items that buff his dinosaurs. You practically get a super dinosaur with a good hero ability. The inner mech, they don't die. They can literally fight for days. What does this guy provide to the army? Somebody, somebody give me something. What does this guy provide to the army? His locus sucks, and his magic is not very relevant considering uh, the rest of the characters. They already have all wizards. Either uh, the metal lore or the zinch lore, you can access it on the lore of change, and the cooldowns can also be reduced. You, you're forgetting a couple of things, guys, here. There's a technology to lower cooldown, there are items to lower cooldown, and most importantly, there is a skill to lower cooldown. How is this guy irrelevant? The worst uh, uh, hero build in the game. At least on the campaign map has some options. Just a summoning, but you just get a lot of change instead of this guy. Heck, a unit of uh, pink horrors probably better than this guy. This guy doesn't provide anything to this faction, it's just a boring, lazy character. At least if he had access to some uh, varied magic like uh, Lord of Light, uh, Lord of Beasts, would be something. But this is just really bad. It's like I'm trying to find a reason why why this would this guy be relevant in any any uh, reason or any case. It's good for the campaign map. Assault Garrison, Assassin, Assault Unit. That's, that's good skills for the campaign map. But in the army, it's useless. This, you don't need metal magic. You don't need metal magic with this faction. Even if the metal shield buffs your army, uh, you can get on Kairos, for example. Now, as, uh, as fear, like I said, look, uh, this guy costs 350, Lord of Change costs 374. Lord of Change is amazing, while this guy is crap. This is so far the worst uh, pseudo herald of uh, the, the Demons of Chaos that we used. The only, re uh, the only way to find this guy usable may be if you're playing the Legion of Chaos and you want to use Lord of Zinch in the army. But I feel like that's the, that might be the only reason. And you still have to be careful he doesn't get targeted. The way the range is assigned to this game and the focus is assigned is probably then better without a mount. Especially if you use Nurgle or Korn uh, troops. Which is kind of sad. This is just, just the, this this faction is so bad. This character is so bad. You know, uh, playing with the Redescent Horse made me appreci appreciate uh, stuff like Emperor Captain and uh, Night Goblin Shaman.
Because Emperor Captain can fight. This this guy cannot fight. Emperor Captain is a is a flyer with the uh, decent stats at his best. What is this guy? You can definitely get a value of Emperor Captain. We did back in Warhammer 1. Before we started using an exclusive in the campaign map. I used Emperor Captains in, in battle and I did maximize them in battle. But uh, come Warhammer 2, they were strictly campaign heroes. Well, this guy can do this. This is just a campaign hero. He's a wizard, but... Uh, Older ogre characters of uh, Zincher wizards. So this this guy is irrelevant. Did I not? Did you not hear what I was saying about cooldowns with this faction? How this faction designed this guy is, uh, does not fit. Doesn't do anything. Even his Ark and Conduit sucks. Because you don't need Ark and Conduit with this faction. I would like to think when they create a hero in this game, uh, the primary focus should be combat capabilities. And they failed with the Iridescent Horror, I think. The other characters just make it look so bad. Primarily the Lord. I think the, o the only way in this state without totally resign the whole hero Eternal. The Redescent Horror should have a unique skill that's unlockable probably around the rank 16 plus That increases the max uh, wins of magic power reserve On top of that, uh, redesign training or give it a better skill like scouting And then he would work The trade system also sucks. Is he slightly better if he's disciplined? But the best thing about the Redescent Horror is if he's disciplined. That is that is the only good thing about this guy. So if by some uh, luck uh, your Redescent Horror rolls disciplined, and that's the only good thing about the Redescent Horror. There's nothing else. The and the plus two attack helps, even for uh, the Lords of Change. I mean, they have decent damage. How the army uh, benefits from the attack buff? The Knights benefit, the Lords of Change benefit, heck, even the Soul Grinders. The, uh, the attack buff uh, is still helpful. The discipline is pretty good for demons, even if they're range. Makes auto resolve also better. The uh, Lords of Change are, uh, are uh, uh, flying monsters, and they uh, have better fighting stats than uh, than Ky Kairos, which is I find it really weird. Kairos kind of got uh, gimped uh, because uh, because of for some whatever reason. A regular Lord of Change is a better fighter than Kairos for some reason, and I don't know why they did that. Probably because of multiplayer. What else, right? Yeah. 
the fact that a lot of change has those uh, decent uh, melee uh, capabilities makes it even better. But as a Kairos is weaker than a lot of change when it comes to fighting. Kairos can equip powerful items, which kind of puts it all over the lot of change, but as a base, he's weaker. Look upon me. What a faction are playing first in Mortal Empires? Uh, I already said this many times, uh, the first two days, or uh, at least for the first day on a very long stream, I'm going to go over everything. Long stream. Second day probably as well. Check all the changes, because it's a beta. See what's what, and then decide what to play. But it's most likely going to be Prince and, Prince and Emperor Karl Franz. Second campaign has been requested for one man a month, uh, Sigvald the Magnificent. But dear bro, if anybody has one demand, you can outbid him for two and request something else. Third campaign is most likely Grimgor Ironhide. But it's definitely Greenskins. We're literally two turns here and we all got this debuff. Well, for the second campaign, uh, two men a month is the uh, current bid uh, if you want to request something else. Or you can just be patient for the fourth campaign request uh, something then. Out of range there. The nest is ready. Moving. What happened here? Why? What? What is going on? This is the second one we've seen like this. The only way I can explain this, these guys have actually defeated somebody in the previous, uh, previous uh, round. This is the only, only, only way to explain this.
Give alliance to the demons, they're just gonna get crippled. His is all stupid overpowered. We did make this clan uh, actually survive. Hope the Skaven of uh, Immortal Empress will be useful. Seeing this Skaven here in uh, this campaign makes me sad. It can't supposed to be a menace, not punching bags. These guys have actually defeated somebody. That's the only explanation. In the previous, uh, previous uh, round of rifts. But as much for the damage, the rebels uh, can't replenish. And it looks like they've been assigned as the rebels. The only thing that keeps chaos from overrunning everything is chaos. No, that is not true, Marconas. The only thing that keeps chaos from overrunning everything is CA. They make made weak chaos. How would these guys attack, uh, 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 attack them? A little getting milked uh, by the Great Bastion and they are going to into another war.
What was that exactly? Kazakh, Kazakh. Moors chosen. Dominance. They cleared a war on a faction that uh, is on the other side of the everything while they're uh, struggling with a nearby enemy. Yeah, this The allies in Warhammer 2 worked if uh, they were powerful factions or uh, you were making them work. In any other case on their own, uh, it's, uh, they are, uh, it's the odds are against them. Especially against other powerful factions. What? Did Scarbon just lose that army that was damaged? I must have changed something uh, with 1.3 patch. They don't outwin anymore there. Was it uh, another army? I didn't see at the start of it. But he still lost. So it looks like uh, around 3 and 4, uh, the AI can actually lose to these armies. It looks like Chaos Factions. Uh, this tells me that uh, the demons uh, have a debuff compared to Kislev and Kte when you're playing demons. That's what I take out of that. So by us playing demons, all the demons have a debuff compared to Kislev and Kte which have a buff the other way around in auto resolve. If we were Kizun could take the car's car would never lo lose here. The dice are lost. Gather 
person's power bind it to me my godhood will be forged here on this throne one by one i will kill the gods and harvest their strength all will be New deity will soon ascend. Bellacor, the Chaos God of Shadows. But his transformation will take time. He can still be stopped. He must be stopped. Then, Ursin's power is yours. Did they ever say how the bear was caught? I'll uh, see he caught the bear for Bellacor. We have the final soul required to illuminate the path of the forge. Yet events overtake us, great one. The god bear is dead. He will roar no more. And reality itself can no longer be contained. Rifts tear through the veil, and demons flood the mortal world. This was always part of Bellacor's plan. He ascends to godhood. There is no place for us in his grand vision. He must be stopped. We need to find a rift now. We did uh, close all the rifts in this area. This one will work. Unless these guys close it. Of the destiny scrolls. They might. I will owe muscular butchery upon you. We still need to replenish the arm. Probably best uh, if you're just going for this week to not even close those safes towards the end. Rakadrak has survived uh, to the very end of campaign. Irresistible. Slanesh's desire. Moors 
Do you come seeking pleasure or play? What the fuck are these guys doing here? How much many settlements the kids will get in the end? Thirty-eight, huh? This was the first campaign where we seen the Empire thrive. They were still killing each other, though. Teleport. The puppeteering of space and time is accompanied by the acrid, sweet smell of burning reality and the sense of something serpentine tunneling through one's mind. Good. An improvement. The answer of Walter is only that uh, battle is need to wait X turn for replenishment, because if we did that battle manually it would have not taken any damage. It is. with the, the western provinces. This guy's also getting killed. Apparently the the final battle uh you just needed the wound bellacor this time. Battle ends when the bellacor is down. Bellacor is easier than resting his army. Any more achievements? Uh the last achievement is pretty much to finish the campaign. Playing a Zinch with a single player campaign, playing a Zinch with a uh, single player campaign are very hard or legendary. That's the, uh, the last with this.
trusted friends. So Nurgle and uh, Zinj can just uh, play nice with the rest of the Demons of the Chaos, which is pretty cool. It's pretty much only Slanesh and uh, Korn that are just hate each other. The realm of chaos endured and mastered. The time has endured, come to he said right. the final part of the pact. The spirits imprisoned in the Tome of Fates now untethered. They combine into a single light, casting a shadow as they journey to the forge. shadows fall, we shall step. A bridge revealed to the Forge of Souls. Path to the Warhammer 4000 factory. Bellacor is on the verge of Godhold. But Wonder if they're gonna add Soul Grandis to Gladius. Yet. What he started, we will finish. Destroy him and claim the power of the Bear God. No! Why do I have to fight the battle? I don't want to fight battles, I just want to click, 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 click! This sucks! Put the uh, Legion pen on one of the Doom Knights. Yeah. 
Does it look like we're getting less points than before? Things are still coming at half health. The winds of change on the way. Probably not to send these guys in any forward. I'm gonna have to clear the left side. The ward save up. This wool is a game. <laughs> no shit.
think those uh, dogs will move forward. It's four percent left. Guys, go forward. Still have a lot of ammo. Dogs keep on coming. It's this guy that's still left. For some reason, dogs keep coming so they slow you down. We're gonna nuke the left side first. I think it's possible for them to capture this, but it never happened. It gets locked once we capture the soul. Get the life blooms from uh, Kairos, so uh, a lot of the healing comes there from there. Not sure uh, how it's gonna go with if we just focus on the left. These guys could be here as well. Just go with a basic second tower. Hit this side hard and then we uh, do the rest. Army of the Dark Gods, on I go. You built an empire to sustain this futile quest. That is the first thing I shatter after my ascension. As I feast on Ursa's power, my soul grinders shall feed on yours. I think from this side, so they all come on this side at once. have this active at least. Not uh, this same build is under shit against the uh, soul grind so they're kinda useless so Get some ward save going. We are many. A changer rewards me for the changer of ways. Conjure. Those guys can fire a wheel from here. War style. Shoot me, 
God's fickle wings. Yes. The feathered head. Possible is in expected. I think we just need our own unit here. Oh, yes, we need two spells. Uh, issue with the uh, soul grinders uh, with this composition. Maybe we should have just shot them with other things instead. We have a lot of uh, stuff saved for later. This guy's gonna stuck in the blood later, so... So not the, the, the normal guys, uh, they don't kind of just lob it. More of these Doom Knights has been better than the, than the pink guys. Those guys, uh, if we, they had the, uh, the banner uh, for magic attacks, it would have been a completely different game, game here on, uh, on this setup.
You guys are really good at killing demons. the large one There's nobody here to gleam, right? That kind of keeps them busy here, huh? His Majesty.
but now when you defeat Bellacor, it's over. It's not very strong, it's uh, not very good protection, considering he has to face 20 units. Twenty two minutes, man, it's like... Twenty two minutes! Just to gank Bellagor at the end. I think those units got stuck in uh, blood letters. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief for Bellacor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. Hello, brother. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. Hope they would get uh, some rattling guns the for this battle. Oracle stands before but the can't recruit DLC units. The divine corpse still fresh to plunder. One head sees the past, the other the future, but both are blind to the present. The stolen eyes of a dead god at last grant Kairos Fate Weaver full sight. Behold. The new master of time. One drop of and that's it. blood. Master of time for Kairos. The taint purged from the tome of fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one. What fate awaits us? One hundred twenty nine turns, huh? So Kairos becomes the master of time, and now the Bellacor can join our faction or we can banish him. You don't have to win any multiplayer All Might. You just find anybody to start a, a campaign and do one battle. You don't have to win anything. It's, it's just done. It, uh, it has very simple multiplayer achievements. Oh, Belcor actually comes in rank 20. Mm. Still has three points here. Oh, man. I remember the... the uh, What's his name? Grisus Goldtooth, but they forgot about Bellacor. Uh, uh, three points here. Supposed to be two points each. Regular Arkham Conde on this guy as well.
Can you actually do the uh, multiplayer achievements without even uh, playing with any somebody? I was thinking about doing a multiplayer campaign with Fenden at some point. This is a very powerful lord, but uh, it doesn't really belong in this campaign. I'm glad uh, he got his own faction. It's a very, very strong lord. This is a one-man army ultimate engine of destruction. Does have access to powerful items? He's the strongest lord in uh, Warhammer 3. You get a powerful fighter with shadow magic. But you get it at the end of the campaign, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, this was Orlocks of Zinj, boys. I think all the achievements are done. Yeah, we completed all the Zinch achievements, hands up. Yeah, as a as a boss fight he's too weak, but as a lord he's the strongest lord. I use the uh, Belakor as the one-man army. You guys uh, forget about my uh, Slash campaign? Belakor was dominating in this, uh, this mob. Even with the game breaking bugs uh, uh, and uh, poor uh, charging and poor replenishment and the single entity issue with the, uh, on the map on the AI focus and getting stuck, it was still uh, still getting killing everything. I am the first, the only. Yeah, Belakor can equip items. The first. If you if you have access to some really powerful items, uh, this guy is crazy. I mean, look at the base stats. This base stats are incredible. He even gets twenty five missile resistance. Now look at this. This is uh, this is one crazy uh, demon. Hopefully they fix his skill tree in uh, in um, uh, uh, more lampars. Okay, boys, this is uh, this is done here. What are those multiplayer achievements? Uh, uh, play a multiplayer battle and play a multiplayer campaign. Huh. How does it start? Ready and what else? We have to have another player. Is anybody available? So I do these two achievements. Anybody needs achievements? Brace, you need achievements. I 
I don't want to join somebody else's game and leave just due to achievements. It's uh, rude. Uh, Bressa. Okay. White friends. Uh, we just have to start it and do one battle, and that's it, Bress. It's click click. I think it's just click click. I'm uh, send you invite. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it, but this is like some kind of code. We just have to uh, start the campaign and uh, play one battle, and that's it. And achievements complete. Oh, somebody joined Jumbo Cactuar. Oh, there it is. Oh, Brazen is here as well. So, how do we start this if it's all ready? Am I blind or am I missing something here? They have to be ready as well. This is just for the achievements, title says. Okay, it's starting. Yeah, it's a, it's open game, public. Everybody uh, control units in that battle and uh, I guess we're gonna do it. Who's the third player? Is somebody from the chat or a random person? Your jump character? Okay, great, great. Let's uh, get the achievement for everybody. Oh, I got the achievement. Partners in Conquest. So we just have to do the battle now. So we do the battle, everybody gets achievements, and it's great. Hey, baby. Fight battle. Okay. Everybody uh, fight battle here and that's it, right? Do I take control? It doesn't matter, Brez. Just click, click. I think uh, everybody is gonna get it. Because we fight a battle. It's just a uh, run battle. They gotta take the control one team. Uh, you take control on that, Brez. You take the control. Let's gang up on Bress. <laughs> Whenever kind of delayed is uh, on the battle. I think they uh, uh, vastly improved the multiplayer with Warhammer 3. They really wanted uh, uh, the uh, campaign uh, to be, uh, you know, part of the multiplayer. There used to be massive issues with this uh, before. Ten minutes uh, loading time. Oh, uh, how do we give this somebody uh, gift units? Okay. We cannot falter, for all the world depends on Word. Fight with pride, my people. It's a slight delay here. Is that the usual multiplayer de uh, delay? Oh, it froze there for a second. The frost I am the awesome. Those dogs will get killed by the heavy cavalry. Holy shit, what are these freezes? Nice multiplayer. This is no stalker for sure. Take it, 
Well, the Warlord uh, has a pretty good melee uh, skill uh, to go on a duel here. Very consistent hits. What is this unit doing? It was just standing there, guys, in there. I'm not sure if it's multiplayer or, or there's something else there. Come on, Brass, you can do it! Well, uh, she's a wizard after all, so she, she loses duels. Oh! Failed one health! What? How is that possible? She got taken down and she survived one health? She can't get wound this battle? What the hell? Nah, she went down. She went down, but she can't get wounded this bell, apparently. Good try, Brass. You nearly had her. And that's it, boys. Achievement is finished in multiplayer. Oh, the faction boss. There is this thing, if uh, you win the battle, the Lord uh, always survives. Maybe that's a thing here, or something else here. But she went down. I would see them dead. Okay, it looks like somebody left the game and froze the game. No, she she went down. Okay. Used to be a bug in Rome 2 when a player would leave the game, uh, the game would just permanently freeze. And you couldn't do anything, you had to restart your computer. Kid you not, first month of Rome 2. So these are multiplayer achievements. Uh, race 30 settlements during a single campaign. I guess that's corn. Uh, Demon Prince, Demon Prince. It seems like two different uh, uh, games of Demon Prince. If this is a uh, Realm of Chaos only, I guess uh, you'll be able to reload the turn or something. To get both of them. Uh, what is this supposed to even be? I, I don't, I'm not sure about this. This seems like they're forcing you to play two campaigns with this guy. Or can you do this in one campaign? Hopefully this is achievable in Mortal Empires. Demon Prince, Demon Prince seems like basic stuff. Corn, uh, Max Blood Letting, 10,000 Skulls, seems like basic stuff. Cadium Paradox, I seen it today on a, another streamer stream. This is a tier 2 landmark in the Red Wastes. Really bad landmark, complete trash. Uh, Blood Thurster, Herald into Blood Thurster, Wind Single Plague Banner, Demon Prince, le uh, Legendary Scene. Yeah, this is just basically just two factions left here. Select one and alter four. Uh, if it's only uh, uh, do available in uh, Realm of Chaos, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. But we'll try to do uh, both in uh, Immortal Empires uh, instead. We could uh, do the demon uh, demons of chaos before, but I feel like I might regret it. This world. I think Warhammer 3 achievements are pretty easy. They're uh, more straightforward than Warhammer 2 and even more straightforward than Warhammer 1. Like Warhammer 2 you had to play uh, more, more Iron Vortex and do some big stuff there. And if you don't like Iron Vortex those were tedious and uh, some of those were also achievable and more Lampers but they didn't work for the Iron Vortex. Guys, uh, s uh, 16 days until Mortal Empires. Can we survive until then? We'll see in a few days. I might decide to play Demons of Chaos before. I uh, came to a point where I hate the Realm of Chaos campaign. And the only reason I'm doing it is for the achievements. I play 6 campaigns now. 
We done Kislev, uh, Gankate, we done Ogre Kingdoms, Nurgle, Slanesh and Zinch. Uh, my favorite is Slanesh, even with uh, some broken stuff that were happening against the player. But I think Nurgle was best, uh, best experience out of, out of this. But I find the overall the Warhammer 3 factions uh, uh, more or less unfinished bare bones with some cool stuff. Especially the demons. Half of this faction seems unfinished. And uh, I find the Warhammer 3 factions overall lacking compared to Warhammer 2 and before. But Warhammer 2 has been out for 5 years and they've been made by people uh, who understand things. And whoever done this, don't get shit. Slash had broken things, yeah, the chargers were broken, the chariots were broken because their collision was off, replenishment didn't work, uh, and there are uh, multiple aspects of the, that made everything worse. The problem with the vassals, with the vision... Uh, but I still enjoy this campaign uh, where I conquered the whole world. I enjoyed most of this campaign, but I think Nurgle was was the best. Chain corn facts. Armies of Planetary Foreign Territory, Diplomatic Glacier Center with Cornered Factions. Campaign with Entry and Fire after raising a settlement all character. That's pretty cool. I think give him a little bit more momentum. I like abilities like this. Abilities like this are fun. And he himself has 35 after winning a battle. Yeah, that's all fun. Yeah, uh, he's the Rampage guy, huh? That's pretty cool. He also seems like a very powerful lord. He's a fighter, uh, but still seems like very powerful. Like, like uh, Kolok material. We might play Demons of Chaos before more Empires. I'll try to resist it, but Corn uh, will be when the air is blood. If these achievements are only available with uh, with the uh, Realm of Chaos, oh boy, then we're gonna have to do one one a year. Yeah, the Scarbon looks very powerful. He's intimidating for sure, even as the AI Lord. But uh, you can get focused down depending who you play, right? Out of the all we fought so far, the Nurgle uh, Legend of Lords was the best AI one. He's kind of like a really strong High King uh, with a powerful artillery attack. But his army kind of sucks because uh, it's too slow. Uh, just a short stream for today, boys. I'm gonna go do a marathon of Bing Bang Theory. And uh, we'll see what we're gonna do tomorrow. Take care.